I'll show you a few saris uh, designed by me. I think you've seen me convert sari into dresses. I'll do the drivers now. I go to a shop, pick up some dress material and make a sari out of it. If you see, I have this uh, cotton, Mangalgiri, I think. It has a broader uh, base or a palu, uh, border. I got a color sink with this. Since it's uh, a gold thread based, I ensured I get a gold thread black to go with the black and gray. Very simple job. I just had to attach this for the pallu of the sari. And I also ensured that I have the same material for the blouse of the sari. And the entire cloth should have costed me not more than maybe 2,000, 2,500 rupees. And you have a full party wear sari. Sari number one. The second, you look at the entire assemble is a contrast to the first. This is far more sober. Incidentally, this is uh, Ritika's sari. Uh, designed quite a while ago. Uh, I think I remember it was either her birthday or a wedding anniversary and I decided rather than pull one off the shelf, why don't we do something and get it done for her. That was the idea. Very simple, get a khadi silk or any plain beige color silk sari. Running material, dress material. Get something to match with it. I chose two not very contrasting colors because uh, Ritika dresses so but I don't think she likes things very bright. So I got it as simple as this. Just got the polo done and a same color blouse. Now what you can do, you want to make it a little grander, you want to make it a little showy. You could add a row of this throughout the sari. One possibility. Another is you can also do delicate banjara glass work across the sari, spread it across so that it doesn't look too showy and still looks classy. Sari number two, I hope you like it. The challenge with this sari was to conceal a portion of the zari which started here and ended here. How do I do it? So I decided to get kalamkari. I had to match a running piece that could go through the sari and a color combo pallu that could go with this combination. So I had to pick up one piece that could make the pallu, a part that would run through the border of the sari and conceal the zari that's behind it. And that is how I got this sari done. Noticeably, the pallu of the sari and the blouse are the same design. The color combination of that and of the running border is the same. All the saris that I've showed you today run through the similar theme, namely that I've just attached two pieces or three pieces and made a sari out of running fabric. Maybe I have a few more ideas for another day, some more of the saris that I have designed for you to watch. Thank you. Send in your comments. Bye-bye.